The elements of hip-hop go beyond the dance to the streets where artists take a chance. In the Bronx, where young men on the go paint trains and walls like Picasso. Graffiti is what they call their art, and it's here where they get their start. Though you may think these policemen bores, they battle kids like Brim and graffiti wars. Yeah, you see all we're using as evidence. Yeah. Some of those kids who locked up on the graffiti. Art versus transit. Fame. Uh... The new king of all the vandals. Uh, the rest of these all have your assignment? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hickey and Ski, I want you to stay uh, after roll call. I have a special assignment for you on a graffiti. All right, take your post. You're marching one day, right, Sarge? No. We have some information that they uh, cut the fence on the Jerome Yards. That's the new fence, and uh, they cut it right open again. Let's take a look inside the machine and watch New York's finest on the graffiti scene. What does this look like to you? Does this look like something that would be in a city, in any city? This looks like a jail, a prison, <laughs> Word, with all this barbed wire around you. What kind of feeling? I, want, I wonder what kind of feeling people that live around here feel with all this wire and stuff around them. It looks like something from Germany, the Nazis and all that. Krylon, Rustolium, I feel like I'm doing a commercial for these. These are about the best campaigns on the market, and this is what they invariably will go out and steal. They never pay for their paint, they'll steal it. The only way I could figure it, that Mayor Koch and the head of the MTA, it's not that they don't like graffiti, it's that they don't like something they can't control. This is vandalism. That's what it is. It's somebody else's property. They're defacing somebody else's property. I wouldn't want them coming to my house and painting up my house. I wouldn't want them painting my car. Mayor Koch tried to, you know, get us to make a deal with him, that, you know, he'll give us 10 cars to be painted, and we'll stop the rest of the graffiti. But it didn't work out like that because, you know, it'll be fine for me, but how about someone else that wants to paint on a train? You know, I, I can't stop them because they got their own feelings to express the same way I got my feelings to express. I'm not going to tell someone, oh, you can't express your feelings, only me. You know, that's not the way it works. Like I said, there are tens of thousands of these kids doing graffiti. Only a handful of them are really good. Uh, but whether they're good or bad, they have no business being down here. It's dangerous. They can get hurt. And, uh, it's not their property. As long as there's something to be said in the ghetto, there'll be graffiti. If it's in a building or it's in a train, wherever something has to be said, you know, in New York City, that's the way we, we express ourselves. It might seem silly to someone else, but in New York City, that's the way we express ourselves. all this, it just makes me mad and it makes me want to go painting more. When I see this, you know, it, it, it burns me up. I, I, I want to go out and paint. And I want to show them that they can't win because they can't. The war against graffiti been like 10 years and, and they haven't won nothing. It took them 10 years to put this fence on. It'll just take us another year to get into it. Just give us some time, we'll return.
Now, we are here today in order to induct into the Rappers Hall of Fame are just a few of the greatest rappers who ever made rapping the life and fame. It didn't start with the Sugar Hill Gang. It didn't start with Curtis Blow. It didn't start with Flash or the Furious Five. You can take it from me, I know. We're going back to the roots where it all began at radio stations all over the land with Jocko, Hot Rod, and Montague, DJs who rap like DJs do with names like Hatter and Dr. Jive in the 50s and 60s keeping rap alive. Just a step for our tradition for rap to take on a social mission. Rap gives kids a whole new way to express themselves and sometimes pay. You might have been told you were no good, but with a rap, you were king of the neighborhood. Man can't think. He's a Geechee. He's some There he is, Joe Frazier. Joe, Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. <laughs> People of the world, the man you see was the world's greatest rapper, Muhammad Ali. In the days when he was Cassius Clay, he was the first national rapper in the USA. He's going around, he's going around saying that he's a championship fighter, but when he meets me, he'll fall 20 pounds lighter. He thinks that he's the real heavyweight champ, but after I'm finished, he'll just be a tramp. Now, I'm not saying this just to be funny, but I'm fighting Ernie because he needs the money. I, I decided to let him make a little bread, but the catch is I must whip his head. Now, I understand he wants to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and whip me. He trade blow for blow, but if he's hip, he'll take a dip because I plan to bust his lip. From the northeast to the northwest, from the southeast to the west coast, from the northwest to the midwest, every rapper thinks he can rap the most. But it all began in Akabu land many, many moons ago. It was among the vibes and the powerful vines from which our roots do grow. The Yoruba and the Bantu, the Sotho and the Gotha, the Akan people of Ghana, the Rwanda and the Husa. They engaged in a form of praise done by griots or a chosen bar. Today we call it throwing down or maybe rapping hard. Well, who are you? Who am I? 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 I'm cat. So what? What do that mean? That I'm the baddest MC lover on the hip-hop scene. JDL. Big deal. What does that prove? That I'm the MC that make the people move. I'm EZ. Easy who? And what is your game? I'm Easy AD. I bet your girls know my name. I'm KG. That's, That's your business. business. That's what you got to say. That I can rock it anywhere, anytime, any day. But Chase the DJs, what do they want to do? Bring in the funky record when you give us a cue. Oh, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, have fun. Who that now? Y'all was that? Yeah. 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 ain't no but a tip. Oh, oh, no, girl. Oh, that's girl. on wrist. Oh. No heartbreakers on the door. I just want to know. I know y'all's the cold, because this heartbreak is supposed yeah, to me. Y'all know. She know everything. She know everything. Would you actually tell her what heartbreakers mean? Well, we'll promise you the world and won't deliver. Girl, broken heart is what we give you. Make you feel like a million by the things we say. And make you feel like a fool the very next day. We're heartbreakers. <laughs> We're heart, heart, heartbreakers. Hello. Yeah, girl, it's me, the captain, with some rap for you. So listen up, don't talk until I'm through. Now you're sweet, you're fine, and you got class, but I feel things are going way too fast. It's not that I don't enjoy having you around, but I'm the kind of man that can't be tied down. Thanks for all the joy that you brought to me, and I hope you understand that I gotta be free. With heartbreakers, and this is how they break your heart. Oh, my 